Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to show you the sorter bot. This guy is really cool. This is unlike the color sorter. I mean, it does basically the same thing, but this guy moves instead of just stays on a track. So if you want to see this guy, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys the building instructions for this guy. It's really, I don't know, it's it's somewhere in the 60 uh, page range. So it's a fairly quick build. Um, and again, if you've done the color sorter before, it kind of does the same thing. It still has this uh, shoot here for your colored pieces. And it's supposed to sort the pieces, but what I like about it is it moves on these wheels. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the program, and then I'm going to show you this guy sort. So let's first go to the program. Okay, guys, so here is the sorter bot. If you notice the large motors here, one is facing one way and the other one's facing the other way. So in the program, that's why you have the negative and the positive. The negative is going to, you know, make it go this direction and the positive is going to make it go that direction also. Um, if you notice on the sorter bot in the instruction that does have you put the ultrasonic sensor, you know, you can do what you want to. I decided to steer away from the ultrasonic sensor. Um, there were some inconsistencies with the program and I kind of wanted to just have it go by the motors recognize the color there's the color sensor right there and then just have the motors take it with it i didn't want to mess with the distance part of the program that the you know lego education has for it i just wanted the guy to recognize the color and then sort it into the containers so let's go ahead and watch this guy roll So the sorter bot will always return to that spot that I started him at. And basically what I did is I just measured out where it was dropping the pieces and that's what told me where to put the cups. Did that just say red? Okay, I think it might have misread a color there, but that's okay. Um, you know, if you've been with Lego EB3 long enough, you know that sometimes it misreads the color, but there's the sorting from the sorter bot. So I was thinking about um, possibly extending this chute right here. It only fits six colors. I'd like it to be able to do more. So. I was going to think about extending this. But for right now, there is the sorter bot. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Lego Mindstorms EV3 software here. This is the program. Don't be overwhelmed. Um, as you can see, a lot of it is the same. So I basically just copied and pasted a lot of these blocks. And you can just see how each color is represented in each line of the program. So, no, I'm not going to have you sit through and watch the whole thing. What I'm going to basically do is open up um, a new project and just show you how to do one line and how to add another color, and you'll figure it out from there. So, let me go ahead and go to an empty project. The first thing you're going to want to do is drag up a loop block, and then we're going to put inside of that loop block a switch block and let's drag this down so we can see this a little better okay so all I did here is we're going to switch this to 
color sensor measure and color and if you notice up here it's going to have the you know the color selection we want so let's say we want to just start with blue so when the color sensor recognizes blue it's going to run the program right in here so if we can switch back you can see that's where i put that the blue sound occurs this is what I was talking about before, and if I went out of order, sorry, but this, if you notice, the motors were facing different directions, so this that's why there's a negative and a positive. One is going to go backwards, the other one's going to go forwards, and I had blue going at a thousand degrees. So, you know, if we were to go back, and if you have never done a sound block before, we just click up here and if we scroll down far enough went down too far and there is your colors there's actually a colors folder so if I want to choose blue it's gonna say blue so if I just run this uh, let's see let me get um, I don't know why it's not saying anything. Oh, I know it's not saying anything. I have my microphone plugged into my mic jack, so that's why it's not. you can't hear anything. So let's move on. And then, then I put in this move tank block right here. I had one at negative 20, one at positive 20, and I had this for degrees, but you do what you want. So there's the thousand degrees. Um, and then if we go back to the original program, I'm going to have the motor stop. I'm going to have that medium motor go at 50% for 360 degrees to pop out the colored piece. And then what it's going to basically do is go back to the spot. Notice I changed the number. This was negative here. The negative is there. So that's going to make it go back to the original spot. And then it will just stop when it got back to the original place. And because there are six pieces, that's why in this loop, I put it for six times. Now, if we're gonna go back to the project and you're saying, hey, Mr. Eno, how do I add another color? So we can come down to this next part of the switch, click right here where it says no color. And you know, if we're gonna go to red, we can go to red. If and this is what I mean by a lot of it's just copy paste. So control C, control V. And now I can just drop these guys down here. Let me put this dude back up. Okay. So now you're asking, okay, Mr. Hino, you got two colors. How do I add another color? Well, you have this add a case right here. So if you just click that and now another case pops up down here. You just click on the question mark, and now we can add a different color there. Slide in the same blocks. I just, again, copy it and paste, but then, you know, obviously I'd have to change the degrees. You know, I don't want it going to the same, you know, spot. So I might make, I might make it 200 degrees less. And so there's green. I want to add in for yellow. There's the case for yellow. And there you go. So now I, I have a case for each of my colors. So, you know, I can now go back to the old program or the completed program. And there you go. So you can see how each color goes a different amount of degrees. Blue is the farthest at 1,000. Green is second farthest at 800. Red's at 600. And then yellow's the closest at 400. So that's basically the program right there. Again, a lot of copy and paste and just changing the degrees that I wanted each color to go. And now let's go ahead and watch the sorter bot run.
Yeah. Okay guys, so a couple of reminders again. Um, you can utilize this ultrasonic sensor if you want to. I decided to go past it just because I I just wanted to do the color sorting part and I didn't necessarily want to mess with the distance part. And I just let the motors do the distance part for me. And also be careful as far as having this guy stay online. Um, it tends to swerve a little bit, so you know, he did fine for me, so so again, check the building instructions for this guy. Um, hopefully, you know you can modify my program for however you want to, and it's a really cool build. Okay, guys, hopefully you like it. I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.